Mr. Magic YouTube channel. As always, we're your hosts. My name is Greg. This is Andrew, and we are here for one final Vintage Cube night before Wilds of Eldraine is released, and we switch to playing lots of that in both Limited and Constructed. Andrew, tell us about our first pack. It's not good. Hmm. It's a really, really, really bad first pack, actually. It's one of the weakest Vintage Cube first picks I have ever seen. Okay. But... That's fine, we're here. So that just means we pass Lotus. Uh, so basically, I think we should take Retrofitter Foundry, but okay. boy, your options are good. Faithless looting. Yeah, I think looting, Spell Pierce, and Foundry are my top three in, okay. in a random order, but I'm sort of inclined when they're all bad to take the Colorless card, that at least sense. the most open. Uh, looting's a bit committal. Um, and I also just think this card's pretty good. Uh, like, I actually really like Retrofitter Foundry, and like, I don't know. Enables artifact synergies, uses lots of X mana well, etc. You want to give this feel? Yeah, great question out of the candle sponsor. And it's finally time to accurately use the September candle from Target's uh, Birthstone collection. This is the Sapphire candle in honor of September. And this is our first stream in the month of September. So get hyped for the September candle. It has a description, um, but it's kind of worn down. Uh, so, hmm. Uh, we'll just There's have to no say description. It's the sapphire. Uh, it's the sapphire September candle. It smells like September and sapphire. Also, my birth month, which is why I got the candle. Also, month in which my birthday occurred. Yes, in which your birthday celebration occurred. Correct. Yeah, arguably I celebrated my birthday like two months ago, but that is a joke for only Andrew. It, it is a good joke for me though. <laughs> anyway, this is the easiest goof I've ever seen. Nice. I think it would not be reasonable to not take grief here. Yeah, this does um, look like the legacy cube. Yeah, it does look a bit like It's that. kind of... I bet most of these cards are in the arena cube, actually. Like, no endurance, no titania. No grief. No upheaval. Uh, I don't think that large number of them. Like, half. Survival, brawl, is tri triumphs in the I, arena Triumphs are definitely... Brawl is, Sun Titan is, like... Okay, and now Ooh, we're going somewhere. Baby, need I ask? Oh, I think you need to ask. Um, is it Cleveland? <laughs> Uh, I actually don't mind Grief Witcher Fitter, Marcus. I actually like some blue-black decks with uh, Fall of Shinobi, and I think Grief Witcher is a really good aim for Fall of Shinobi, so I sometimes actually played in blue-black decks, especially when they tend fair for yeah. Zunimator. But I basically think here is, is Easy Archon. Yeah. Um, I like Marsh Flats. It's a great fetch. It goes well with Grief, etc. Yeah. I also like Emrakul, but lately, because um, this basically there's a lot of different ways to cheat things in these days, um, different ones of cards with, with all different ones of them, Archon works with all of them. Emrakul only works with a subset. Sure. Uh, specifically, it doesn't work with Reanimate, for example. So I tend to prefer the one that works with the most things is my kind of tiebreaker in a lot of these spots, and that's Archon. Yeah. So uh, I really like Archon. I've been taking it really high. I found the Sheen decks to be really good in this cube, and I, I basically just, yeah, don't pass them. Um, interesting. Uh, so, I I mean, there is one of the cheating things in the form of Shallow Grave, I don't think it would be insane to take Shallow Grave. But we're going to take a Traxa. Oh, yeah, we're going to take Traxa. Nice. I, I don't, I, I, I'm I I'm addicted to this card. Yeah. I, I, I like stop passing this card. Once yeah. I realized you could flash in a Traxa and you could natural order for it, got a Traxa. A Traxa is so great. Yeah. I, yeah, I really like this card. Dak Faden, man, do people remember when Dak Faden was considered like a top 20 card Vintage Cube? Petra's Farm remembers, but it mm -hmm. sure isn't now. Um, <laughs> it's Snack, snack Faden. It's still playable, but it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah. uh... It's really fallen. I think Dark Fame is one of the, what, what do you call it, like, what's the opposite of most improved? Uh, farthest fallen? Sure. Okay, so this pack is more interesting. So, we're trying to draft some sort of black reanimator deck. Yeah. Um, Collective Vitality would fit great into those decks. Good discard outlet, uh, you know, good disruption, good card to have. Could also just take Watery Grave. Often reanimator is blue-black, although I've actually been de drafting a decent amount in, like, red-black these days. I do have brutality trauma. Wait, from what? <laughs> from oh, that game we played yeah, on stream yeah. where we lost all three games in different ways to collective brutality. That did happen. So I, I think we should take collective brutality. But I don't know, watery green. Oh, I, I, I would not take Jace here. I, I'm not. I don't want to take a blue card when my my internet might just might not be blue. Yeah, is the issue. Like I'd rather take the land if I were blue black, and if I'm not blue black, I'd rather take this same mono black. And I think I'm happy to take this. I actually dropped a lot of like Mardu Reanimator in the current cube, and I think this fits a lot better than that. That is a late strip mine. I don't know if we should take it, but I also don't know what else we would take. 
Like, I don't really want to take, like, Ophiomancer. Triplicate Titan? I guess we don't need... It would be the worst one by a lot. Yeah, I mostly like that as a Tinker target. Span Dragon? Like, I think Stripmine is the highest upside okay. by a lot. Slam it. I don't know what it will mean for us to play, like, a Black Green or deck with Stripmine. It might be weird, but I, I'm going to take it. Like, the upside on this card is so high. Like, okay, like... See, now, now it's where I kind of have to make some, some cho choices, I guess. Because, okay, so Through the Breach goes really nicely with all this stuff, yep. certainly. Um, also, if we want to try to be, like, sort of green-black lands reanimator weird deck, we could just take, like, B.O.P. or Corsor or something. Sure. Um, I guess I don't really want to do that, although this is a very late Birds. Um, like, Birds is very good. I, yeah. I, I value Birds a lot. Uh, I value all the, like, Wooberg Dorts pretty highly. Uh, but <sighs> Through the Breach looks pretty great in our deck. It really does. We probably should just take Through the Breach. Yeah, okay. Plus Fine. Plus we'll and Merkle. <sighs> wow. Okay. I love the Black Swords of Flashers. Yeah, definitely not passing this. Putting it right on the curve where it belongs. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, very happy to get this test late. And I don't know if we'll play Grave Titan. I like that it's a payoff you can hard cast, but I don't really think we need more payoffs at all. Uh, honestly, could imagine taking Nurturing Peatland here. Um, helps us hard cast a Traxa. Yeah. And whatnot. Could even a little amount of taking Sack Tribe, although that's maybe a bit deep. Yeah. Do you think if we took Birds last pick, you would take... Sack Tribe? Yeah. I mean, we maybe should still take it as the thing. Just because I don't really even want Grave Titan. Uh, we might play Grave Titan. F fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. And this pack is... I mean, Glorybringer, I guess we might play. It's just another... We need cheap cards. Our yeah. curve is very concerning. Yeah. But... Okay, but that's actually a pretty decent cheap card. Yeah. I like Kite Sail. Happy to play it. <laughs> yeah, give me the shallow grave. All right. I mean, black is very open. I'm not sure what other colors are open. It seems like green might be. That is a very late sail into the West. Mas Masakri Worm is a good sideboard card, though. Hmm. I think we should just take this. It doesn't really look like we're in a place to play a blue-green card. Yeah, also I've never heard it called Masakri Worm, and I am in. Oh, it's Masakri Worm. That's that. That's stock. Okay, I do like Lumis Prowler, although it's a really big Nambo with Exhum. Um, uh, that's true. We don't have an Exhum. Well, you have to hope your opponent F6 is through <laughs> casting Exhum, like we did that one time and lost as a direct result. We did do it that one time and lose as a direct result. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong about that. Oh, what, man. What's weird about our seed is that we kind of got every black card we could ever want, but no actual good reanimation spells. Yeah. Which mostly leads me to believe they weren't open. Sure. Like, I think just no one opened reanimate, life death, animate dead, you know, any yeah. of the kind of premium ones. Hmm. Well, that's a Mox Pearl. I propose we select Mox Pearl. Or Mox Opal. That's not really the same thing. <laughs> Although I have drafted some sick Mox Opal decks in this Ooh, cube. Ooh, nice. They're, they're not that common. Yeah. Um, also, Mox Pearl does make our Retrofitter Foundry better, for whatever that's worth. Oh, that's true. Just a little fast mana to help, you know, do the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're always taking this. Uh, yeah. I'd love a Delta. I'd, a Knight's Wizard might wheel, we might take it, but yeah, yeah whatever. The, just taking this. Our mana is currently heinous, and if it doesn't improve, we'll just try to be, like, mostly mono black. Yeah. Uh... But if we are like mono black reanimator, which is which is is an archetype, uh, then we can do some potentially cool stuff. And hey, Clarm, thanks for the subscription. Welcome back to the stream. All right. So this pack is decent for us. So it doesn't really look like an ancient tomb deck to me. Um, okay. I guess ancient tomb looks okay. I mean, we can accelerate into like through the breach and glory ringer and stuff. I guess and like yeah. grave titan maybe and grief on three. Maybe Ancient Tomb is supposed to be the pick. I mean, the other weapons are Inquisition, which I like, but much less than other Druze card spells, and Xander's Lounge. Yeah, I assumed Xander's Lounge was going to be the pick. Maybe. Well, it's reasonable to just pick Xander's Lounge, I think. Maybe I just should do it. I think I want to take Xander. Uh, I, although, I'm I'm not good at evaluating Ancient Tomb. Well, it's the, the ceiling's very high on Tomb. Yeah. Yeah, I think I should probably take Xander's Lounge. I don't, I don't really want to take Wheel, although I admit that it's very fun to take Wheel, but <laughs> incorrectly taking Wheel is, is, a, is a real hobby of mine. Anyway, wow, this is a very good pack. Um, I mean, we're not going to be able to take, obviously, like, Force of Negation or whatever, but yeah. I love I love Force in this this cube. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I want to take Dothiel, although there's Caracas here. Caracas is really fucked up, and we do have some combos with it, stuff like Through the Breach in Atraxa, bring back Atraxa for another round. Mm -hmm. That isn't that compelling, though, I guess, and our mana... 
is looking dicey. So maybe just taking the consistent two drop we can cast on curve. It's always yeah. very good is, is the pick. Probably it is, honestly. And hey, Jeffrey Silver, thanks also for the subscription. Welcome back to the stream. God, I love this card too, is the other thing. I have a, I, I may have a small addiction to Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. It's, it remains my contention that no one in the world has ever read Dothy Voidwalker. <laughs> it, it's never happened. Greg, name one person who's read it. Mm, I can't. Yep, there you go. Okay, so this pack, we have some options. Um, it's basically, I think, between Black Leaf Cliffs, Infernal Grasp, and Scrapwork Mutt, bizarrely. Uh, I mean, Scrapwork Mutt actually decent in these kinds of decks. Yeah. Um, but I sort of just want to take Black Leaf Cliffs, honestly. Okay. It's not a good land, it might wheel, but I think we'll probably wheel the Mutt or the Infernal Grasp, honestly. Yeah. And I just want to have castable spells. Sure. So, I'm not going to stress too much. If we don't get them back, whatever. Wow. Okay, this is a hell of a pack. Whoa. I mean, we can't take 4th Everlingos, I think. I know that Mox Pro makes white, but... Yeah. Uh, also, we've, like, a lot of high drops. I don't really want another one. Um, so, I think that we need likely... We likely should pick, like, Fatal Push or him. Is probably where we're at. And honestly, with a million 2-drops and no 1s, I'm almost inclined to take Fatal Push. Although, I do think him is the better card. Hmm... I'm not really sure which one we should put. We should take, to be honest. I, mm. I guess I think him is maybe the better card. Okay. I, I want to take, take him. I also want to take him. I just really value cards that disrupt people doing combo nonsense, and this is the kind of epitome of that. Yeah. Okay, so here we actually have some options. So I know a bunch of cute veterans who who think that uh, that Bone Crusher Giant is really really strong. Um, just, just, I don't know, it's a good, fair value card because yeah. their two drop comes down as a threat. Um, there also is Savai Triumph, but we picked up two lands at this point. I feel like we also have already have a fetchable red-black. I'm feeling pretty decent about our land situation. I kind of want to just take this Bone Crusher. Maybe that's crazy. Okay. I, 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 yeah. I kind of want to take the Triumph, but I am down to try Bone Crusher. Yeah. If, if that's the... If Maybe that's we should just take the Triumph. I guess we have a lot of playables. Let's just take, yeah, let's just take the yeah, Triumph. Okay. That will, that will let us splash Linger Souls when it wheels, too. True. Which it will. Um, I'm putting that where it belongs for now, but we'll, we'll reassess later. Wow. I'm, I, mean, I mean, I'm a Skull Clamp addict. It doesn't look very good in our deck, though. Yeah. Uh, I like Luris. We're really not there. Is there any outside chance we can play this Oath? This looks like a pretty decent Oath deck. Like, we could easily get some of these cheaper things out. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if there is really, but I'm pretty inclined to take it. I don't really want to take Talisman. And we could take Rafine's... Eh, Rafine's Tower is not very good. It doesn't good. really help us. Yeah. God, Oath is so good if we can play it. Oh, boy, we're really far from playing it, though. I probably should just take the Talisman. Uh, okay, fine. I, I'm an, I just love Oath, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I don't know if we're moving towards more of a red-black, like, fair deck at this point. We yeah. have not really gotten any generation spells, but... Let's just take a Scotty Lich. It'll be sure. fine. Um, that's a good card for a fairer version of the deck. Um, Imperial Seal is nice, though. That, that can help us tutor for the Shallow Grave or the Through the Breach. Yeah. Our deck's doing a broken enough thing that we can afford to take it. Oh, I didn't mean to just, like, slam it, but apparently I did. All right. Oh, Inquisition Wield, though. Happy to play that. Yep. Like I said, I don't think this card's premium like Thought Season Duress, but I do play it in almost every black deck. It's yep. just solid instead of insane. Um, it's fine. All the Reanimation Spells are in pack three. Yep. Also, I guess Shallow Grave does look pretty good with our suite of threats. All right, quick, quick thing. Th this card really needs to get out of the cube. Th th mm. This card, this card has not been playable in like three years. We we need to like do. We need to have a talk about Temptation. But anyway, let's take this. Oh, we might play this card. I, yeah, I love it. Like we can even bring it back for another round. Like it's actually yeah. pretty nice. Oh, Woo! that is great. <laughs> you love to just wheel the fatal push. I mean. If we do end up playing just a red black like fair deck with a few broken draws, uh yes, cutting blood elders not but not so is insane. Whoa. I don't I wanna play this, I think. Yeah. I mean I even don't mind a brisk shield breaker showing artifacts nice and all, but lingering souls like it's, also, it's pretty you, free. You called your shot. I did call my shot. <laughs> mm -mm. And we can like discard it to like scrap work mutt and collective brutality too. Oh, black is insanely open RC fixed. Um I think that uh what other colors are open is very unclear to me. Yeah. But black is definitely open. 
Like, I think green was open the other way, but I think the person we're passing to is green. Yeah. So green's cut that direction, but anyway. All right. I mean, Court Dance does work for our deck. Certainly, I don't really want to first pick a Corpse Dance. Wait, we're going to wheel it. I want to take Bloodstained Mire. Yeah. Well, we can also take a Tali, I guess. Well, I think that's the pick. Okay. I indeed think the pick is between a Tali and Corpse and, and Mire, but I think you have enough fatties that are good threats. I think so, too. Like, I love a Tali. I think it's better. Well, I think it might be worse than both these, though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's not even that great among our fatty suite. We should probably take Bloodstained Mire. Yeah. Let's cast our spells. I mean, I like Fiery Confluence, too. Uh, Z-Toy Spring Ground helps cast Atraxa. Yeah. There's various things, but we should take this. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. And now there's this pack. Okay. I mean, Season Pyro is very good. Yeah. Uh, just a, a very good fair value card. Helps us. It's a discard outlet for our tricks and, and whatnot. I like Mox Diamond. It doesn't look like an insane Mox Diamond deck. I mostly like that card when it accelerates into, like, Planeswalkers or cards that generate recurring value. Yeah. Which we don't really have that many of, just Custody Lich, kind of. I think we should just take Season Pyro. I, I don't really like Vamp that much. I, I think it's I think it's not crazy. To, I think it's hinged to take Vamp, but I don't think it's right. Yeah. Basically We also, by the way, don't have to be red. Like we could just like through the breach is our only red right? Like... That's true, but I think we might as well be red. We, we, we got the man to support it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I mean, that's a Thoughtseize. I mean, I, I'd happily play Liliana, I'd happily play Doretti, what have you, what have yeah. you. We'll we're, we're taking Thoughtseize. Right. This, or, or we're bit, Bitter Union, okay, which yeah. is also great. Um, yeah. I just don't value the, the, the tutors that are card disadvantaged that highly, especially in these decks where you're, like, half reanimator, half fair game. Yeah. Which our deck definitely is. This is not, like, a hard, like balls the wall reanimator deck it's just like no no like we might reanimate something we might just grind you out we'll see how the game plays type of deck so oh good old cannoli lich yeah <laughs> that's that's a great name for the card though to be honest <laughs> oh that's nice i'm not sure this butcher fair foundry is currently in our deck i will state i like this card but we kind of end up with no synergies for it yeah um, I'm also not really sure this talisman is in our deck. It could yeah. be one, two, three, four, but we, we've got a high number of playables. Yeah. Okay. Well, we just passed the dark depths, which is interesting because we could take the hex mage and see if it wheels. Yeah. And then we could like imperial seal if he's come we're missing or some shit. We also could take ephemerate, nice, that's which what I Looks amazing in our deck. It's it on really the splash, does. but I think I don't care. I want to take Ephemerate. Our last, like, red-black reanimator deck with Ephemerate, Ephemerate was such an MVP, too. Yeah. Like, I don't know, just blinking Custody Lich, Grief, Season Pyro, cheating in Atraxa, then blinking it, cheating in Arcana, and cheating it. Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty on board. Okay, well, that's Animate Dead. That's what oh, we want. Oh, nice. Okay. This, this Wait, is the... is, and it's better than Recurring Nightmare. Well, Recurring Nightmare is quite good. I think it's not as good as Animate Dead, but it's good. I mean, you can loop back and forth with our deck's pretty good at doing. We have 11 creatures, so we have a decent number of things we could sack and then and then get back, but I don't really want to take it over Animate Dead. Like, I definitely take it over Animate Dead more in the pack, sure. but uh, I, j I don't think I believe in it. What is Evolved Sleeper doing here? Oh, I think it shouldn't be in the cube. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand why I feel sleep in the cube. I will tell you, black creature slots are hard to fill. Mm, okay. In general, there aren't that many, like, fair black creatures. Like, it falls off really quick after, like, Grief and Dothy Voidwalker, but I, I can't defend that one swiftly. Jeez, if we had taken the, the, the Hex Mage and then the stage, I mean, man, I, I almost still want to risk it. Although, wh where are we at on discard outlets? We have Unus Prowler, Scrapwork Mutt, Collective Brutality, Season Pyro, and Thought Season a Pinch. We're fine. So, okay, we don't need to take Putrid Imp then. Yeah. Do you want to take Duress, though? I mean, we should either take Duress or we should speculate on the stage. I guess we don't really need Duress if we have Inquisition and Thoughtseize. Like, I sort of want to risk it. Okay. I don't know if they'll all wheel, but, like, if we take this and they do, we're so paid off. Yeah. And I think we just can live without this rest. We have plenty of playables. Like, yeah. we'll be cutting a good card for it. Yeah, I want to I wanna, I wanna try it. I understand we might end up with nothing, but I think it's worth the risk. Okay, well, now that we're doing all this black-white stuff, we might as well take a free Concealed Courtyard. Oh, that's true. Like, I don't really want any of this. Yeah. 
Yeah, there you go, Carm. I love you're using the word torturous there is especially accurate. <laughs> God, there are so many one mana two ones with torturous or cursed abilities. Yeah, I love. I felt like this happened a lot when I was playing the mixed up drafts on Arena, where someone would play a one mana two one, and I'm like, God, how does that one come back? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I sorted of my mana value and Moto destroyed destroyed my uh Wow yeah my layout. Um I was I just moved some cards when I was trying to get back to where it was, but anyway. Wow, look at our four drop slot. I like how both of those cards definitely cost four. Yeah, I do like that part as well. This anime dead's gonna be a real game changer for us though, because it also means we have a cheap thing to Imperial Seal for when we just want to recur a creature that died. Yeah. Um, forever instead of for one turn and so yeah it's also a lot less fragile than shallow grave for example it's shallow grave if your opponent kills a creature in response you get oh what the hell it's the best discard outlet of them all slam it my god <laughs> i first switched this card before i mean black is we're just the only drafter taking black cards yeah i mean i think you're right i think maybe someone took like reanimate and life death early and then got off it yeah, or those cards just weren't open. I mean, not yeah. the whole cube is open each oh, draft. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's the Corpse Dance Wheeling. I mean, we might play that card still. I want to take it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to put it in there. Um, <clears throat> definitely no problem with that. For our, for our Traxa, quick quick count. We, we, we're pretty good at getting creature, instant, sorcery, and we have some artifacts, and then land. So we'll, we'll draw four cards almost every time, sometimes five. Yeah. Oh, and Enemy Dead's an enchantment too. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to be great. Oh yeah, entombing the scrapbook much for Val, that's Chef's Kiss. Ooh. I mean, now now we're kind of moving towards hard reading here a little bit. I don't mind taking the vamp. Yeah, I mean we already have one vamp. We could take a second. Oh, vamp is a lot better than Pure Seal though. Oh, okay. Because it's okay. instant speed, so you yeah. can do it the turn you want the card. Mm, okay, okay. Which is is a real game changer. Yeah, okay. Um like we can even cut the Imperial Seal. Any stage depsers? I mean, I happily play Bitter Union, but I'm pretty re yeah. willing to just incorporate this wave two tutors. Yeah. Like, our deck will just randomly stay just times. We have a really low curve. It wouldn't even hurt us very much. supposed to pack with the Hex Mage. Someone took it. That's unlucky, but yeah. we'll live. Or maybe it was the next pack, but... Yeah, I mean, if they took it, they took it. I'm not going to stress about it. Soul Transfer and Duretti, both pretty medium. I guess I'll take Duretti. I don't really imagine playing it, but I don't think we're going to Soul Transfer either. I mean, we have, like, no artifacts in our entire thing. Well, but it's just, it's just a looting guy. Oh, sure. Oh yeah, the, the sideboard of Old Sleeper, they'll, they'll never see it coming. They'll never see it coming. I guess, because we already have a lifelink thing, right? Yeah, we, we have two. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, but okay, someone took the Hex Mage. I'm still pretty down. Okay. Like, it just Even costs... Even with, like, I mean, we do have two dub black cards. That's true. And we have, like, Season Pyro. Okay, let, we, we can look at it. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to miss Duress, though. True. So... Can you make the cards bigger? Yeah, it's this slider, right? Yeah. Maybe that size? Mm. That seems big enough. I mean... Do you want to take Mox Pearl out? Because it's a land, too. Oh, yeah. It, it certainly is a land. So, we need to cut three from this. And Dark Depths is arguably a spell. That's true. So if we play the Dark Depths, we need to cut four. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to cut Grave Titan. Yeah. I think that's pretty reasonable. That. Maybe Glorybringer, too. I'm a little worried about casting it, but... Well, I mean, the thing I was thinking about is that this is possible. Oh. Like, Pyro is good in our deck and all, but we could just be almost mono black, splashing red and white. Yeah. Have really consistent mana. Like, I don't hate that. Like, I think we have enough Discord outlets that it's fine. Um, in fact, wait, sorry, quick swap. Um, in fact, one, two, three, four good discard outlets? Yeah, we, we should yeah. be fine. Although, I think this might be actually a little few on things to reanimate. I kind of actually want one of these in, which I think is this one. Okay. Um, but, yeah. So, like, I think if we play a deck like this, like, I think if we don't play the Season Pyro, which is a cost. Yeah. Um, but I think then we could pretty... Freely, freely play the depths combo. Yeah. And I think that's worth it. Okay, I agree. Um, and I don't... So I think from this I want to cut one card then. Because I'd like well, to play... two cards, right? Eh, we can probably play 16. Okay, okay. Um, but I don't know... I don't really know what the one should be. I mean, do you want to cut one of the two vamp... The, the, the Imperial Seal? 
Or now that we're playing the depths thing. Well, if we're playing the depths, if we have two different combos going on, I mean, okay. that's when those cards start to really shine. Sure. I think it's possible to kind of just like Kite Self Rebooter. Sure. That card's pretty whatever. Okay. Um, in fact, the way I really feel with this card is that I like boarding in against people who have Monarch stuff going on. Mm. Because it's actually a good way to take back the Monarchy. Sure. But like, by default, I'm going to assume we do that. And sure, we can take it back from our own Custody Lich, but like, I don't know. I think this is all getting pretty far-fetched at that point. So, is Bizarre unplayable? Uh, I think it's pretty unplayable. I mean, I did I did grab one. I, I, I mostly last pick. Yeah, I, I mostly never put this in my deck. Even when I'm reanimator, no matter what happens. Um, I think that there are some very all-in reanimator decks that are trying to reanimate, like, consistently on, like, turn two or whatever that can play this card, but just, like, not making mana is really fucking bad, okay? Like, I, I strongly prefer not to play that card, and I don't really see that being violated here. So, yeah, just put in all of these. So now we get nine lands. Wait, so we probably just... They're probably like nine swamps. Yeah. So red sources, we have four. four. And one, two, three, white, four white sources. Yeah, they're all swamps. Okay. Four of each seems like enough. There's like two white spells and like one red... white spell and one red spell. One red spell with scrap Yeah. But yeah, I, I think I think all, all swamps is pretty... Uh, Pretty sound. Boom. Yeah, I I really don't like Bazaar. I don't even think it would be that crazy to cut Bazaar from the Vintage Cube. Mostly, I think it's in because it's so iconic. Yeah. Rather than because it actually makes, like, a lot of sense, is what I would say. Um, maybe this is... I don't... Yeah, I don't think this is the rare Raider deck that can play it. Um, but I like this deck a lot, and I'm, yeah. I'm very happy. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Got it. Ephemerate was such a good addition to the Vintage Cube. Again, let, 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 us, let us once again celebrate the labor of uh, the team. <laughs> Andrew was trying so hard to make Labor Day jokes, and none of them were funny. <laughs> Greg, we'll celebrate their labor. <laughs> Daybreak Games doing a great job on the Vintage Cube, and today we're here to celebrate that. Uh, Greg, why are you so disrespectful to the laborers of this country's vintage cube teams? I I just have no I I can't engage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do think that a lot of the cubes' problems were like not really within the control of the people working on those cubes, like. You know, this whole thing where Watsy pushed them to put standard legal cards in the vintage cube all the time to, like, sell packs. Like, the, the person working on the cube, which who I believe was uh, Carmen Klomperens, uh that is, like, not her fault. Yeah. That Watsy put pressure on her to do that. Yeah. Which is what I would guess is happening behind closed doors. <laughs> but it was also a heinous experience. Oh, thanks, miniature catfish. We appreciate it. Wow, is it still our flea anniversary? We, it's been telling us that for like a few days. Yeah. And I just don't know, I just don't know how long we get an affiliate anniversary for, you know? Okay, we're playing against Psykai. Who's Psykai? Oh, I don't know. Oh. But. Is that a reference to something? Friend of the stream, Kai, who will later watch this at 4x speed. Yeah. Uh, at some point in time, all my friends started greeting him always with the phrase, Hi Kai, in exactly mm, that intonation. I see. And so this is Psykai. I see. Should you say it? Really slow, so he hears it at exactly that inclination. Yeah, that's probably what I should do. Sigh, Kai. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this hand sucks. Yeah, let's mulligan. Oh, this hand's insane. Wow! <laughs> a sneepity doop! This hand isn't even a sneepity doop, it's just a sneep. Uh, let's tuck a swamp, I guess. I think so. Scrapper Mom will even draw us a card. Yeah. God, it's it's so great to have these like actual like looting effects in red, like bitter reunion in the mud. Oh, I can't believe they forced us to put all these standard legal cards in the cube. And now we're just gonna go off with all these standard legal cards. The real scrapwork mutt was inside us all along. Over half our hand was standard legal. That is true. Well to be fair. For, for a long time, Fabled Mirror Breaker was standard legal and one of the best cards in Vintage Cube. That is no longer the case, mostly because it was banned. But it has <laughs> sure it's not rotated. Ooh, I like that we can Inquisition them before we do the thing. Yeah. Look, Fable. 
I think Inquisition them into do the thing is going to be good enough here. Yeah. But let's make sure they don't have like a, manual, a bajillion counter spells. Knight of the Reliquary finale fast. Wow, that's a scary hand. Um. So, I don't know what we should take honestly. So they're showing some sort of like land theme. Yes. Um, I mean, Finale is only scary if they find Channel. Um, if they went Finale, Channel, that would be pretty terrifying, but... Don't forget they have a Fable Loot. Yeah, so, like, I'm just wondering, like, in theory, next turn they could go... They could, like, loot into Channel plus Forest. Yeah. Channel, Finale for a, a, a bajillion, and we'd be dead. Yeah. That is possible. Yeah. Now, there's also some possibilities they could just, like... Finale for like Wreck Sage, which would be pretty effective against us. Um, they could even do that next turn. I think we should just take Finale. Okay. There's a chance that Fast Bond ends up owning us. Sure. Um, it's like not an easy hand to like puzzle out, but I think this is the scariest card. Yeah. The Wreck Sage thing I think is pretty big. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think we just take this and then let's uh, let's bring back a Traxa. I appreciate that the cube has both a Traxa and a Tarka, and they have very similar pronunciations. Oh, wow. This is quite a set of cards. Um, okay, well, the only artifact is Mox Pearl. Yeah. And the only instant is Fatal Push. Yeah. So we're going to get those. Um, now, Grief is kind of appealing here. I like Grief. Because we could just Grief them and take the... Uh, I mean, we could take Thespians. Oh, maybe we should take Bloodstain Mire. Well, it's sort of unclear. I mean, if we take Stage and we draw a tutor of any kind, yeah, it'll be really strong. But I don't. I suspect the tutors will be fine anyway. Yeah, and if we draw Bloodstain Mire and then we draw any of the white, red, or white cards, yeah, their hand does kind of suck. That is, but they are gonna fable. I don't think their hand. I think that. Fast one is very dangerous. Yeah. And I'd like to get out of the hand. Like, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with this fast one, but, like, you know, they loot into a wheel, they play fast one, they cast the wheel, like, yeah. okay, like, that's what losing looks like, I think. Yeah. Um, Ruffalo's a knight or whatever, but I'm scared of fast ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't really know between Thespian Stage and Bloodstain Mire. Yeah, I think the Demontra would regard if you should just take the any color fixing. Okay. That's what I want to do. Yeah. All right. And then let's, uh... Although, wait, I guess we did just already get a white source, but... Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Eh, maybe we should have taken the stage, but whatever. It's fine. Um, so let's cast this. Let's grief pitching putrid imp. Yep. Take this fast wand. Yeah, you have just those two now. Be sacrificed. And should we attack with scrapwork bot? I guess it only matters if they remove this. Which they're pretty incentivized to do. I think I don't want to attack with scrap work. Yeah, okay, let's hang out. And one funny thing we could end up doing here is... Uh, so next time we're going to play Voidwalker, right? And presumably... Oh, yeah. They are looted. Uh, and presumably, Fable will then flip. And then we could then Fatal push the Fable and cast it. Nice. That's pretty cool. Actually, a pretty relevant thing about taking Bloodstained Mire here is it gives us the option to flashback Mutt... And the option to enable revolt on Fatal yeah. Push. So I think maybe taking the Blessing Mire was genius. But whatever. <laughs> oh, one thing I'm realizing is we actually can't fetch untapped red, can yeah. we? Hmm. It's a little annoying. Maybe we were supposed to play one basic mountain. Maybe. Instead of a ninth swamp. We don't really need the full nine swamps. Okay, well, that's, that's very scary. I mean, look, if we die, we die. I mean, if they like cast Emrakul here, that will probably beat us, but. Wheel? I mean, a wheel is pretty okay. If that's what they do. Minx can boo. I mean, okay, that's very good. Minx is a messed up card. It, it's not going to beat our board, I don't think. Yeah. So, wait, why did they channel? Um, I don't know. Okay. Their channel made two mana. 
Yeah. Wait, so what does Minx's ability do? Because they haven't... So they can sack a creature to deal X damage to any target. Okay, yeah. And if it's a hamster, they draw X. Okay. So I, I think we just so block. They block, yeah. I don't understand this. Oh, yeah. Minsk and Boo can be your commander. I actually do want to make a Minsk and Boo commander deck. Famously. Like... Okay, okay, okay. So they're sacking the hamster. Oh, maybe their out is to, like, draw Emrakul here. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe that that's why they played Channel, because it's playing to their outs. Yeah, I mean, if look, if they draw Emrakul here, then good beats. Rex Sage. Okay, that's actually very good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're going to be able to clean clean up the Minx, but they have a lot going on. Um, we probably should clean up... Oh, no, we can't fetch on tap red. Damn it. Mm, true. So we can't... We can't play Void... We can't play Voidwalker, fetch Mountain, bring back Mutt, and Fatal Push the Rex Sage. So I guess we have to wait a turn. Yeah. And just play Voidwalker Pass with Bloodstained Mire. Yeah. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't love this. What's nice is that, okay, after we, the turn after we kill Minx and Boo, we can cast it. Mm, that's true. Which will probably win the game. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, we're actually kind of in trouble. Because we could do the Fable thing, too. That's true. But I don't think Fable can take on Minx and Boo. That's true. Like, I think Minx and Boo will win that fight pretty, pretty handily. So, like, my inclination here is that if they just attack for 6, we just take 6 to 20. Do we want to... Oh, yeah, I guess 20 is pretty good, rather than Fatal pushing the hamster. I mean, unless... I, well, unless we're going to Fatal push the hamster anyway. Hmm. It seems Are like we? we're pretty likely to Fatal push the hamster anyway. Yeah. I mean, how scary is this reflection? They can, like, blow up our mocks for free. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay, I think we should... I think we should just Fatal push the hamster. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> And then we can fetch for the Mardu land, and next turn we can unearth the Scrapwork Mutt and see what we draw. Yeah. Which isn't a flawless plan, but is decent at least. Mm. Okay, well, Vamp is quite good. I don't know what we're vamping for, really, but... Like, Shallow Grey or Corpse Dance? Oh. That makes a lot of sense. All right. And I think we shouldn't play Xander's Night. We might cycle it. Uh, that's true. We could just cycle it now. That's true. As long as we step on our next upkeep. Yeah. So I guess I might as well do it right now, then. Yeah. Okay, we have Grave Titan. Nice. Good to know. So yeah, let's kill Minx and hit them for two. Yep. Oh, I guess the issue with cycling is now we can't... Oh, wait, you can cast Minx and Boo for free, yeah. right? That's how Voidwalker works? Yeah. Sorry, I've never read it. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, you're in good company. <laughs> no one has ever read Dothy Voidwalker, Greg. It's very simple. Uh-huh. Solemn. Well, that is good with Reflection. Um, yeah, because you do get to draw the card, too. But yeah. It's not going to beat us. Like, and we it's important, by the way, that in this line where we, uh, we're going to get a Traxa back, that we, uh, we have to get a Traxa back first, because the top creature is the one that comes back. Yes, before playing Minskin. Yeah, it's, it's a classic Graveyard Order Matters incident. Yeah. You also don't get to draw the card. Wait, what What? What do you mean? Oh, that's true. Yep, Void, Voidwalker will stop the Solemn draw, yeah. Wait, what? If a card... Tokens aren't cards. Tokens aren't cards. Oh my god, you're right. That is a very funny <laughs> interaction. Nobody's ever read Voidwalker, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's vamp. Yeah. And here you see Vamp outperforming Imperial Seal. We would not have been able to cycle Xander's Lounge last turn. 
But yeah, I'm pretty down to get, um, I think actually Shallow Grave. Okay. Because we can't, we can't afford we buyback. We can't buyback. Okay. So we might as well have the one that, yeah. Sure. And we might even, with a 50-50, pretty even chance we get Ephemerate. That is true. <laughs> oh, God, our deck is great. Well, we bad news, we didn't get Ephemerate. Yeah. Good news, everything else that's happening. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, well, one option is, let's see. I think our instant is probably Corpse Dance. Okay. Um, that just seems pretty good, right? Let's see. Do you want to get, like, Corpse Dance? We could, it could be, wait, isn't Snuff Out an instant? Oh, wait. Well, maybe Snuff Out's be better. Snuff Out, Brutality, a random land. And we just, Brutality, just kill the Kiki, kill the Kiki. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Snuff Out, Brutality, and, like, I guess we want to land at Nick's Mana, so, like, Dark Black Leaf Cliffs. Uh, oh, okay. okay, they're off. <laughs> the concession is correct, I think. Yeah. Uh, so notably, our opponent's deck does look like one against which Massacre Worm does good work. That's true. So maybe we swap that for the Grave Titan. That makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> yeah, nothing else really jumps out at me in our sideboard. Oh right, the Mountain thing. Let's let's add, let's play Basic Mountain. I think that makes yeah. sense. I think having two untapped red swords instead of none is a pretty big difference. Do we want to be able to... Oh, I guess we can't fetch untapped white either way. So yeah, so, so the planes is less necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the Concealing Courtyard and the Box Roll are both untapped white as well. Yeah. So there's that, but... It's pronounced Masa... <laughs> it's pronounced Massacre. I think... I, I, wait, is that just not a, a, how you spell Massacre? Hmm... I think it has, like, an I in it or something. <laughs> I mean, look at this sneevity doop. <laughs> I mean, our hand's obscene. <laughs> so, the only bad part is that we don't have two untapped swamps, so we, we can't, uh, we can't Inquisition first. Oh. Let's Inquisition first. Let's Inquisition first. Yeah. Yeah, sounds pretty good. <laughs> how would, how do you like the classic curve of thoughts? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, Pest Infestation is very good. We definitely need to take that. The question is whether we should take that now. Probably not, because it's the only instant sorcery. Oh, because we're going to have Brutality next turn. And we can kill Kennen and take the Pestimation then. Okay, so, we're gonna so we should take, take Knight. Knight. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Mm -mm. They're going to get owned. It does appear that they're going to get owned, yeah. Um, yeah, Kennen, I think, is a pretty cool addition to the cube. It goes infinite with, uh, e with uh, Basalt Monolith. Mm, that's true. So, they, they, and between that and Zerda, they're kind of making the Basalt Model effect, like, somewhat legitimate. Yeah. Um, it also doesn't activate ability, so it's even Zerda companion compatible, even though that's obviously very rare. Uh, but anyway, let's discard a Draxa. Let's own them. Minus two, minus two. Thought sees you. <clears throat> With Grim Model, isn't it, isn't it mana neutral? Like it's yeah okay yeah yeah it's 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 infinite in a sense. Also, the other day someone asked me where I ranked pessimization in the cube out of all green cards, and the answer I've determined is it is obscenely high. Pessimization really? is really really messed up. Okay. Um, well, the fact that it's kind of an outlet for like if you have ten mana, yeah, you can just like make ten one or, or you know nine one ones or whatever. Wow, they just with a literal empty hand top deck the best card they could possibly top deck. Anyway, and we're gonna win comically easily. I think we're gonna win comically easily still, but. I'm just saying you're complaining when, like, they, they kind of can't possibly win. It's a little little BM, Greg, you know? Okay, so uh, shall we conceal Courtyard Ephemerate? Oh. I guess we haven't played a land yet. I mean, we don't even need to because it... it well, uh... Yeah, but, but in case something happens, you Yeah, know. that sounds pretty good. Um, and then, I don't know, put in... I guess a Discord Outlet is actually kind of nice. Yeah, I guess so. Sure, we can put a Fusion Imp in our hands. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Wait, I <laughs> I wasn't accusing them of, of ghosting. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. <clears throat> 
But yeah, I think so. Pessimization, I think, is worse than Channel and worse than Fast Bond. Okay. But it might be the third best overall green card in the queue. Okay, so you like it better than like birds? Yes. Okay. It's just like such an absurd payoff, and the fact that you can cast on like three, like kill their Fable or whatever, and make two one ones is really yeah. nice. It also plays super great with Skull Clamp, Gaia's Cradle. Like it's really easy to abuse. It's good at any point in the curve. I, I really like that card. Oracle. I mean, that's very good. Um, I mean, obviously, our opponent can't possibly win, but, you know. Yeah, I I mean, we could now take this opportunity to ephemerate our Traxa. I guess I don't really want to do that. Not really. Eh, I'm, I'm, oh. Yeah, that was a reasonable concession. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I assume they were like, can't beat the ephemerate, can't beat not the ephemerate. Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, like, considering whether to ephemerate, and it's like, well, yeah, bad news. Yeah. And honestly, I think uh, these kind of Mardu, like heavy black reanimator slash sneak slash breach decks have been my most overall drafted archetype this this event just keeps using. Yeah. Not necessarily the one I've won the most with per se, but I drafted a lot and I usually do well. Uh, yeah, I, I draft a lot of these decks, a lot of blue black fair decks, a lot of blue white fair decks, mm -hmm. uh, the occasional heavy white or Boros like mid range aggro deck, um, never mono red. Um, and then, you know, a, a few other things. I, I drafted Mono Brown once. Um, I drafted a weird combo deck now and again, lands. Yeah. But yeah, I think this is the archetype I draft the most, and I kind of want a lot with it. Yeah. Don't sleep on a Traxa chat. It's never too early to take a Traxa. Yeah. I don't know why I did a clapping thing there, but I I did. feel like a Traxa is, like, pretty pointy. I don't know if sleeping on top of a Traxa would be very comfortable. <laughs> God damn it. That that comment is a disaster. I think most Phyrexians are pointy. That's like the main character trait of being a Phyrexian. Isn't isn't the Porcelain Legion kind of smooth famously? Oh, because of Porcelain? Yeah. I guess Elish Norn is pretty smooth. I think if you slept like on one of them it would be it would be good. I did I did DC. You let the record did, yeah. I, 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 I was under much duress. Uh-huh. Not that we have that card in our deck. It was about the bonus sheet. He got really excited about bonus sheets. I love bonus sheets. Mulligan? Yeah. Tier list of Phyrexians to sleep on. Well, this hand's definitely a keep. It has some problems. Yeah, I mean, do you want to put Dark Jets? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> C slightly calling the question the addition <laughs> of this into our deck, but, you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> sleep on, not sleep with important distinction. Well, I meant to ask when we were talking about uh, uh oh. Um, well, it's fine. Our hand is kind of a mess. Like when we, when, when we were talking about all the um, bonus sheet stuff, I was wondering: Are you a believer that every set should have a bonus sheet? Uh, I think I might be. I yeah. heard some people making this take. I I am not. I think that look, this happens a lot with uh, magic things, and everyone's like, "Oh, Watsy shouldn't just like make a ton of these; it will stop being special." And yeah. like. Usually, I just don't think that's the right way to reason. Like, if something is very fun and everyone likes it, I think just doing it a lot is usually the right call. I'm not saying there's no limits to this, but uh, I am not currently convinced that bonus sheets are being done enough, is what yeah. I would say. Maybe every single set would be too much, but I would definitely move in that direction and, you know, see what happens. Yeah. Also, the card our opponent just played is pretty high on my list of, whoa, someone asked, whoa, bonus sheet cards you'd like to see. Pack one, pick one. Oh yeah, this so, card's very good in, in, in Woe Draft, not very good in Vintage. Yeah, though to be fair, I don't know, like, okay, when I played the pre-release, my opponents just kept playing bonus sheet cards, and I kept being like, what, like, that's in there? <laughs> I have no idea what's in there. Although I did, okay, remember we played against a Season of Growth deck on stream, and it was very strong? Yeah. I, I like, I saw Season of Growth many times at the pre-release, and it was busted every time. Yeah, I, I think it might that. just there's like all the random things that put rolls on things. There's a f common fight spell and like there's just a lot. To and wait, do, do the things that put rolls on things target? So some of them do, some of them don't. Okay, but most of them do. Um, like like the um the 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 tormenting voice targets. Oh yeah, the tormenting voice puts a like that was relevant. Um, yeah, the, uh, it does sound pretty good. Um. The, and like there's like there's a green guy that's for four mana a four three trample that for two mana has an adventure to put a roll um, that targets obviously. Okay, wait. Let's quickly discuss this block. So I think we want to trade damage. 
Because they have bitter blossom. Yeah, don't. okay. So therefore, I think we should take. Okay. Um, and I mean, imagine they'll just block it, but then we're both taking one instead of neither taking sure. one. Get him, spirit tokens. I mean, our hand does currently do absolutely nothing, but we'll just draw any discard outlet or through the breach or tutor. Yeah. Make X Rats into shared animosity. Wait, what does shared animosity do again? Uh oh, it's um. Oh no, it's power. It it's it's it it does some stuff. It encourages you for attacking with a lot of creatures of the same creature type. Ah, okay. Your opponent is Andy, I think. Wait, are you talking about us? Is is Andy Paul Blart Mall Cop? Are you saying the opponent in that story is Andy? Or I'm not sure exactly what Zoe means, but someone is Andy. Um I'm gonna look at one. Yeah, I don't think shared animosity is very good. I had it in a red green deck and I didn't put it in my deck. <clears throat> Everyone is Andy sometimes. Yeah. Also, d wait, is, is, is that a Game of Thrones reference, that username? Paul Blart Mall Cop? No, this one. DJoy of Gaming? I don't get the Game of Thrones reference. Okay, isn't there a something joy in Game of Thrones as a family? Greyjoy? Yeah, so is it like DJoy is like the joy of, but also no? I really don't think it's a Game of Thrones reference. All right. I don't know. I'll just so stop. This time you want to block? I guess that's pretty incoherent, but they do have a lot more stuff now. We could draw no stuff. Yeah. Eh, let's block. Okay. You want to block the other one too? No, because we need to block a flyer next turn. Okay, I guess that's. Nice. Also, this will re -amass, so it's like yeah. better to have it all on one kind of. Oh, in tomb. Nice. You want to put a thing into play? Yeah. I don't know which thing, but... Yeah, I wish we had Masakura Reworm. <laughs> uh, agree. Maybe the Masakura Reworm should be in the main over the, the Grave Titan. I'm pretty down to just get Archon, though. Yeah. We should have attacked first if this was Archon. I guess we can still attack first. I mean, I don't even know wh why should we? Because we're going to draw a card and they'll kill our spirit. Oh. That's true. Okay, let's get Archon then attack. Yeah. Presumably our opponent won't block because they see that happening, which, okay, is, is my fault. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Dejoy, that, that, that's totally fair. Sorry, I'll stop seeing phantom references everywhere I go. I mean, I really won't, but I will try. I mean... Mmm, nice. The metamorph angle. <laughs> uh, Would you sleep on a Phyrexian metamorph copying the dragon throne of Tarkir? Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of metal-y. So, oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have played the Voidwalker. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't have. It's sort of unclear because... Right now, one nice thing is that if our opponent removes the Archon, such as in this way, uh -huh. we can just get the Archon back. Whereas if we play the Voidwalker and they kill it, that actually ceases to be the case. Yeah. Hmm. But I guess... Anyway, we're, we're going to get back. Yeah, we can get it back. Wait, I don't want to get back now. Uh, I want to be able to attack with it. Oh, you want to get back in the end step, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Because we get a full another trigger if we attack. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I get that we could eat this... this Bowmasters yeah. and the Bowmasters is annoying to Archon, but like, eh, it'll be fine. Oh, vamp, you say? Interesting. Wait, put a stop in your upkeep. Okay. I, ha I have okay. one. What should we vamp for? Uh, ephemerate. Nothing. They concede it. I don't even know really why. This is oh, are they just, they're... Oh, they're dead. No, wait, they're not. They can chomp. They can chomp, yeah. But I guess we could have gotten, like, Fatal Push, and they're Omega dead. 
I mean, yeah, okay, they're, they're probably dead, Kai. Yeah. All right, well, let's make our, our, our standard swap. Yeah. Oh, do you want to put the swamp in, too? Sorry, the, mountain. the mountain. Oh, yeah, maybe we should just do... Maybe we should just make these, these two swaps these, between these, rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we I just make we'll though. Yeah, I'm willing to make it or not make it, depending on our whims. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not that into the Throne of Geth specifically. I mean, this game seems fine. Yeah, it's not okay. exceptional, but we've got a kill spell and a snuff out and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, yes. See, I, I agree that we probably had them dead. Oh, we had them dead, like, in 8 million different ways. But, like... We've just gotten fatal push, you know? I don't believe that they had enough information to conclude that they were dead. Yeah. Oh, is there some sort of tutor in response? I mean, like, vamp in response is not insane. They do have the vamp... I mean, I don't care that much about this vamp. Like, what are they even finding, really? I want to take Mind Twist, I think. I think I do, too, even though without Fast Man, it's not that great. But I'm mostly scared of, like, vamp into, like, Lotus Mind Twist or Soul yeah. Ring Mind Twist or some shit like that. Um, and Tef and Deluge or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I guess they can tap a creature out of play or something, but who cares? Yeah. The, the funny part of this is this will put in a situation where neither of us is doing anything. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think they were dead to removal is honestly generous to their game state. They were mostly dead to any card that moves, uh, but removal is a subset of cards that move. Imperial Seal. I don't know that we want to commit to that yet. I don't think so. I think I just want to play Savai Triumph and pass. Okay. I don't think we're in the market to, to cycle it given our, our hand. I agree. And I'm not... Like, it seems like insane to Imperial Seal for, like, a, a random fair card or whatever. Especially into Deluge. Wow, they can't even cast it, huh? Nope, they cannot. That is annoying, as it's famously a black creature. Yes. Um, and we can't do much about it. What happens when it hits us? They, get, they look at the top three cards, exile one face down, and then they can cast that one using any color of mana for the rest of the game. Okay. Um, ah, problem solved. Yep. I guess I could even just do it in the best phase. I love doing it now. Uh, Xander's Lunch? Sure. Yeah, real, that's a nice line, Dan. God, so many people have had their Imperial Cities owned by Thieves of Sanity over the years. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. I would say that the main phase is the best phase, Kai. All right, well, now to Fairies on the Way, for whatever that's worth. Um, Pretty happy to just play Blurred Walker. Uh, upkeep is the wrong answer. <laughs> Cleanup is definitely the wrong answer, though. Uh, the upkeep phase shouldn't exist. This, is, this has been my hot take for a while, but I want Watsy to change the rules of magic to not have an upkeep anymore. Okay. And I do not believe this would be unreasonable to do. Uh, and it just says at the beginning of your turn? Um, Or just all effects are beginning of main phase. Okay. Just all of them. I, I don't... I just... I understand there would be some functional change, but just like... Yeah. I think it might just be worth it. Mm. I think it's never going away. I don't know. That's what they said about the about O ring garbage, you know. Yeah. But O ring garbage is gone. So they they did vamp there. I really have no idea what for. Yeah. When would Chur's like Mana Crypt happen? Be beginning of main phase. Like, it it's honestly fine for everything except, look, like, you're right that Paradox Haze gets got, okay? I, I can really live with the casualty that is Paradox Haze. Yeah, I mean, sure wish this was a Grave Titan. Um, uh, yeah, me too. Oh well. Hang out? Yeah. 
What did they play game one? I feel like they've played very different cards game two. They definitely have. They played like Bitter Blossom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, they... and Orcish Bowmasters. Yes. Maybe we should have taken out Snuff Out. Yeah, we can take out Snuff Out for game three. I, I mean, we did definitely see evidence that Snuff Out was bad. I just didn't know if it was like sufficient evidence. Should, should we cast Shallow Grave as two mana killer to fairy? Like, how insane is that? I don't think it's that insane. We also could cast it as Vamp Tutor. Bizarrely. That's insane. Do we, what would we vamp tutor? Oh, does that work with Teferi, by the way? Oh, Can wait, it, do, it doesn't, it doesn't. A... Yeah. Our, in fact, yeah, you actually can't vamp tutor in this spot because... Oh, no, wait, no, you can because it's... Wait, it's this turn, right? Hold, let's read, let's read this card that no one's ever read. <laughs> you may play it this turn. Okay. Yes. Wait, I kind of... I think Archon's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I think so, too. Let's 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 vamp for Archon off our yeah. shell. If... This is very funny. We're, it's okay, we're just using some of the many unread words on Dothy Void Walker. <laughs> Alright, sack it. I'll choose this one. Okay. Cast it. Yep, it works just fine. Yeah, Archon seems good. Yeah. I think I like that more than Traxa. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Maybe that's silly. Maybe Attracts is just too good. No, I don't think it is, because we get two Archon triggers versus one Attracts a trigger. Yeah. And I like Mind Twisting them as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it at random? No, but okay. they have three cards. They'll lose two of them. Yeah. And, like, they also take 12. Well, I think they're going to take six and we're going to kill Teferi. No, no, they lose it anyway. This is Sack Creature or Planeswalker. Oh, I didn't know that. If I had known that, I would definitely have been in. It's fine. In addition to not reading Dothy Voidwalker, many people have also not read Archon of Cruelty. <laughs> but I played it in a limited draft once. <laughs> My only time drafting this format. My pack one pick one was Archon of Cruelty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is a wild coincidence, but fair enough. I'm bored of magic, and we go back to saying massacre funny. I do like massacre. <laughs> massacre, sorry, sorry. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, they'll save the life, but they're still gonna lose another card in their hand and their Teferi, and yeah. we'll draw a card, so. Ooh, so close. Mm -mm. It, Grizzlebrand is in this cube, although I'm honestly pretty down on it. I think it's, like, the fourth best reanimation target or some shit. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, I think I want to cast it because we can always ephemerate it. Oh, or they'll, they'll minus four. They'll minus, the minus four. They'll minus four. Wait, so we should, we should just wait. Yeah, turn. let's say go. We play this. I love saying go. <laughs> 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 I mean, six times two is famously enough. Uh -huh. So there is that. I mean, do they know we have the worm? Because it's so this this play is pretty dubious. But I don't remember what they saw. Oh, they didn't see anything. Like they they hemmed us, right? Yeah. Okay, so they don't they don't know about it. Yeah, they, they have no way to play on it. And we they know from game one. We they may suspect we don't have this card because we might have tutored for it in game one. Yeah, I mean, all of this stuff is good. But what's better is. Life points. <laughs> God. Chad, I don't really know the origin of the Masakre thing, but I have been saying it that way so long, I'm not going to stop. Mm -hmm. Eh, slam it. Slam it. it. It does play a removal spell better if we have an extra land, but I don't think we should wait for that. <laughs> there, the, Okay, don't forget to change our deck. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 quickly uh, edit our deck. Oh. That was a massacre. Mm. Mm -mm. All right. Yeah. 
I'm in my confidence that this uh, the stage depths thing is better than season pyro and glorybringer it has been decreasing, but I'm gonna still give it a, a okay. final chance. Okay, okay, it deserves a chance. Oh wait, yeah, I was looking at all the um, the bonus sheet cards to see which one I'd like. So my one of my opponents at the pre release played land tax against me. It was actually very good. Uh, Minter Catfish, I did coverage of the SCG on uh, Sunday. I covered the the top eight through the finals with Mason Clark. Um, so that 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 may be what you're thinking of, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Forced fruition. I don't know how good that card is. I mean, it's I don't very think it's weird. Good. It's just man, a lot of the uncommons are great. I guess that makes sense because the rares they put in for like card accessibility reasons and the uncommons they put in to be cool and limited. Let's mulligan this again. Yeah. Would I say that if a card is in the Vintage Cube, it's probably good in Woe Draft? Yeah, that seems like a reasonable rule of thumb. Yeah. Keep this Tech Swamp? Yeah. I mean, we are going to rip their hand to shreds. So Defense of the Heart is on here? Classic Defense of the Heart. I'm going to Inquisition them to start with. Wait. Oh, it is. And this chat is an example of why Thoughtseize is better than Inquisition. Because our opponent's hand had exactly one legal choice for uh, oh, Inquisition. Yeah. Oh. Imperial Seal, you say? That's very interesting. I mean, I would like to Imperial Seal for Animate Dead. The question is, should we Thought Seize ourselves, or should we just Thought Seize them with and wait a turn essentially. I mean, their hand does not do much. It's sort of shielded and 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 five Yu Gi Oh cards. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So maybe it's right to just go all in and thought seize ourselves. I okay, don't know, though. that's kind of fun. And get Animate Dead. Yeah, I mean, we, we, I think we should do Pearl Simple Animate Dead no matter what. Yeah. In fact, let's start by Pearl Simple for Animate Dead. Okay, sure. <clears throat> okay, I want to do the Thoughts You Think because it's fun. Okay, I don't know if this is right, though. Eh, maybe let's not do it. It might be right. I guess the problem is that we don't do it. How many turns out the road is our Archon? It's not next turn, but the following turn. That's actually a long time. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. I mean, it's only pushing it back one turn, despite what you just said. Yeah. That's true. Wait, does, is the other card revealed? I guess it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Season of Growth, I think, is uh, is great. Hatching Plans, I think, is awesome um, on the bonus sheet. I love Hatching. I get to see someone do the thing with Hatching Plans, but I predict it's not that hard to do. Oh, I do love that Impact Tremors and Raid Bombardment are there. You can just, like, do the thing. All right. Brilliant for just jamming, I guess. They discarded Shieldred? That's pretty weird. I don't know why they discarded Shieldred. Because, I mean, I get that it just gets sacked to Archon, but, like, if they clean up Archon, Shieldred would then be really good. If they don't play of Archon, well, I don't think that Shark Typhoon's going to save them. Nice. <laughs> Damn it! Well, let's start by attacking. Okay, but they might concede. <laughs> if they concede before it's in play, I don't think that's important. I want Merit <laughs> Look, Greg, they only take eight damage. They have plenty of time. With a Shark Chump Block, they might even get another turn. And Shark Chump Block's even possible, because, yeah, you, uh... Yeah. You could make a token afterwards. Like, the funny part is... I'm not totally sure we should make a 2020. Oh, we should just leave it up? Well, we should definitely not make 2020 main phase, but we should either leave... I'm wondering if we should Thought Seize them. Oh. But I guess... 
Because, like, yeah, I know what. Let's pass. 2020! <laughs> it's probably right. I want the 2020. <laughs> Martin Lodge would be good to sleep on. God. Hmm. Scare of <laughs> Wait, make the 2020 before I'm, they concede. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. I'm making it. I'm making it. <laughs> Quick. So, Greg, do you understand how this combo works? You have to keep this one. You have to keep that one, and then it's sacrificed. And then it, it's sacrificed, and then you go to 2020. Okay. I would have had to read some things to fully understand it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I eventually realized, each and each, is that, like, if they, like, through the breach blight steal or some shit, then the 2020 actually saves us. Yeah. It will then have 11 minus minus one counters on it, but <laughs> that'll be fine. <sighs> All right, so having seen our opponent's deck, I'd like to pose this swap. Uh, yeah, do we not want snuff out? Mm. I think we still want it. Okay. For one thing, it kills the Blight Steel that they might cheat. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's intractable. Definitely doesn't kill Blight Steel. Eh, I. I have a high bar to cut that card, and I'm not trying to spin okay. it. Okay, also, did you know we had Mox Pearl? <laughs> yes, we cast it. We just, oh, we cast it off of Traxa. Maybe, maybe Snuff Out is bad. Maybe we should cut it for the Kite Sail Freebooter. That, I love that. Yeah, okay, I'm in. Like, we haven't played Mox on turn one yet. So unlucky. God, it's really tough when I keep winning all my games and I don't even need my Mox. Yeah, you get it. It's like when I win Summit and I'm going to get a Mox, and then I won't have anything to do with it. Okay, well, I would like to keep this hand. Seems great. I have How we how it plays out, there are many questions about. Of course. We definitely should keep. Well, I like that we can Inquisition and see how good... Uh-oh. That's concerning. I'm concerned. Okay, well, I like them passing. I don't know what it means, but let's Inquisition. Yeah. Um, and we can always also, uh, at some point, vamp for Animate Dead and re-grief them off the Animate Dead. Mm -hmm. Through the Breach Emrakul, you say. Hmm. Let's grief them right now. Hmm, I like that. Let's pitch... Uh... Kite Sail Freebooter? Fatal Push? Let's... Let's get rid of Fatal Push. I think and Fatal hey, Push. And hey, Oh my gosh. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for the follow, and hey, Caleb, thanks for the raid! Shout out to anyone coming over from Caleb's stream. We are System Magic. My name is Greg, this is Andrew, and we stream on this channel pretty much every weekday. Um, and we've been doing a lot of Vintage Cube recently. And uh, we're currently 2-0. Mm -mm. You love to see those those big raids celebrating the, the hard work of Caleb's yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, so we've successfully stopped our opponent from doing anything. The best yes. magic duo on Twitch, no contest. Thanks. Um, and hey, 10K Freeman, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh. And hey, humanity, welcome to the stream. And thanks for the follow. Caleb and I actually used to battle a bunch back in the day in the, the Midwest PTQ circuit grind. Mm, okay. Before he retired from competition to be a professional streamer. And hey, Joe Mama, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Great question. Fuma X about today's candle sponsor. For those who don't know, our stream is unofficially sponsored by the discount candle section at Target. And at any point, you can ask about the candle of the day with a nice exclamation point candle. And hey, Clam Weaver, thanks for the follow. Today is from Target's Birthstone Candle Collection. I think I want to resolve. Is that fine with you? Not vamp in response? I think that's fine with me. Um, we got a nice Sapphire September candle. Um, yeah, and hey, Joe Mama, thanks for the subscription. We are unofficially sponsored by the candle section at Target. Um, but yeah, this is from the Birthstone Collection. It's a really lovely candle, but um, I don't have its description anymore. So it just smells like Sapphire and September. And hey, Null Bitmap, welcome to the stream, and thanks so much for the follow! I wonder how long they'll keep following. <laughs> hey, Methodical Monk, welcome to the stream, and thanks for the follow! Well and Miniature Catfish, thanks for the subscription! I don't think there's a lot of reason to corpse dance here rather than just freebooter them. I know we get back grief, so it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. But... All right, they have Emrakul and Swamp. Oh, wait, actually, we knew both those cards. Mm. Classic. I would play this again, to be clear. Mm. 
And hey, Throg, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say the candle like you know like all the time. Although you can change the candle sponsor by redeeming some points, and then I'll talk about a new candle. And hey, my yard twenty six. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I am very enthusiastic. Uh, that is what I do. I'm the nonsense half of the stream, and Andrew provides the strategy. Yeah, well, the real secret is that it's arguable that there is only nonsense halves of the stream. Yeah, but... and hey, fucking magical, welcome to the stream, and thanks for the follow. Thanks for making it difficult for me to post this on YouTube. <laughs> just, what do you, you just do it anyway. What and do you hey, mean? Mr. Penguin, welcome to the stream, and thanks for the follow. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. Should I thought Caesar our custodial lich and corpse dance it? Is that maniacal? And hey, Bogos, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. It's definitely not the first time I cursed on stream. I definitely cursed on the last stream because I called Andrew a fucking asshole or something. Yeah, that's um, pretty. That's probably maniacal. Wait, I want to do it. And hey, Tsunami HS, welcome to the stream. And thanks for the follow. But like, we can just hard cast if we draw a land. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I kind of want to hold on to Thoughtseize in its classic role as discard allies. Sure, okay. I want to just hit them for one. They can yeah. have them, we're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and hey, kikiest of the Jiki. Welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. I think I got everyone. I've been saying a lot of stuff. I'm going to do a quick double check. Make sure. Yeah, sh show and tell's not in the cube, Kai. You don't need to worry about that. They, they cut it for being unplayable. Notably because it was unplayable. Um. Mm -mm. Uh, like... So Bogos Ian, I think I thanked you, and Mr. Zero Zero Penguin, <clears throat> I think I thanked both of you. But in case I didn't, thanks again and welcome to the stream. And Tsunami HS, yeah, there's been a lot going on. All right. I guess, should I attack first? I guess so. Yeah. Just in case they, like, flash something in and block, we'll sack it. Yeah. It's not very important, but it is a little important. Why does it still say 59 viewers? I don't know. Did a lot of people leave? Uh, it does not say that on my screen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I... The viewer count has been a, a little weird today, actually. Um, like, for a while, it just said zero viewers for me the whole time. And then eventually it jumped up, so... Yeah, I mean, we could draw the corpse dance or whatever. I think I'd like to establish a clock and get the monarchy before I mess around with, like, the heavy disruption stuff. Like, right now, the game's honestly at parity. Like, we could easily lose. Yeah. So, like, once we are beating them for four a turn, we have the monarchy, then we'll start doing that kind of stuff. Hmm, that's unfortunate, though. Maybe I should have thought these the previous turn targeting them. God, it's so weird. <clears throat> I don't know if I played this game optimally in all the chaos that's been happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I haven't been here to help you. Well, I've been too busy I might have played it optimally. Screaming at the screen. You Basically, what to do with this Thoughtseize has been included in me every turn of the game. Yeah. Is how I describe the situation. Um, but... And hey, homemade mail! Welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow! Mm -mm. Yeah, I think that Hardcast Emrakul might race pure Kite Sail Freedom Beats, like we never cast any other spells. But conveniently, other spells are here to save the day. And hey, Kajo, welcome to the stream, and thanks for the follow! Ooh, Thoughtseize. Okay, I mean, they can have their choice here. If they take Custody Lich, it's really not that bad. Yeah. Like, they almost have to take Corpse Dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you sell premium candles on Amazon? Can I get an official sponsor? I wonder if that's true. And hey, the Paris Commune, welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> I mean, take Archon. They can cast it next turn. Yeah, I mean, why didn't they cast it last turn? Uh. I mean, I'm gonna take it. I assume it. they wanted to thought seize us first, I guess? Oh, they didn't want me to custody this make oh, them sack it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, I still think that might be conservative, but I, I get it. That, that's not unreasonable. We are gonna punish them in the most savage way possible, though. Yeah. I'd like you to sack a creature. Now we have the monarchy, and if they ever take the monarchy back, we'll just hit them with a Kite Freebooter, retake it, they take one. Yeah, I like this a lot. I, I mean, think we're winning yeah. by a mile. I mean, we love talking about candles on this stream. If you're interested in sending us a candle, I will heavily advertise it on stream. <laughs> I agree that you will do that. <laughs> 
to tens of magic players every uh, every weekday. Uh oh, scarab Geezy is a very large problem. Uh, I agree. Cause it's gonna make our con, and uh, I don't really know what we're gonna do about that. But let's hit them for one. Yeah. Cause okay, I guess I guess to be fair, if we can somehow retake the monarchy and make them sack, maybe we can get out of this. But it's very bad. Yeah, I agree that us winning this game went from very likely to very unlikely when they cast this this scarab Um I mean, we could definitely get out of it, but we need to draw a thing that does a thing. Yeah. Oh yes, Th this Kaito Freebooter has done all eight damage this game. <laughs> no, they thought ceased. It's only done six. Oh wait, that's true. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. You, you, we, you, we might need to draw two things that do things. I mean, what if we drew Dark Depths? Dark Depths might get us out of this. Yeah. Like, legitimately. Uh, or like Vamp for Dark... Or, I guess Vamp's gone. Imperial Seal for Dark Depths. Yeah. Our opponent has quite the deck over there, is what I can tell you right now. All right, all right. Let's let's see what we can find. Sure. Actually, let's let's do uh, let's do black red. I think it's slightly better. Sure. Mm -mm. Okay. Wait. So I propose we cast this. Okay. Then, let's see, how many creatures in the bin? There's Grief and Archon, so they can just make two blockers if we attack, so we won't retake the Monarchy. Because they have eight mana. Yeah. So I guess we just cast it and say go. Yeah. And I guess I should also play Mox Pearl because... They're going to Grief us. And Archon us. Yeah. In fact, it was kind of generous of them not to draw step Grief me. Yeah. Like, waiting on the Archon I get, because we are sort of reanimator deck, they can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, they don't want to, like, tap out of the Scare God and, like, give us a time to reanimate something. But, like... I mean, are they trying to not use their Black Lotus? Oh, maybe? Are they, I guess they're close to hard casting stuff. Three, six, nine. I mean, not that close. They might be trying not to use their Black Lotus. I don't think they should be trying to do that. Yeah. Wait, if we sack Imp, they can make a 4-4 small Emrakul? Uh, that is true. All right, you got our Mox Pearl. It is funny that when you cover Emrakul and Lazotep, the result is a much smaller Emrakul. <laughs> like, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it, it is funny. So wait, do we want to attack with Custodial Edge? Probably not. Why? Yeah, okay, good point. I think we don't, but the, the, the line of text where when we regain a monarchy, they sack a thing is very relevant. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it'll be good enough to win, but like, it, can, it might play a critical role. Okay, see, they, they're sacking the Lotus. Mm -hmm. and, but now we can famously sack Scrapwork Mutt. Mutt. Yeah. I mean, they can then make a Scrapwork Mutt. Yeah. But, so be it. Mm hmm. Slot Art Artstone, I have no idea what you just said. Um I I think that might have been a reference to the little baby 44 Emrakul, but I honestly couldn't tell you. Mm. What I don't like about this is that we're very dead. Yeah, do you want me to concede? Yeah. What if we draw Dark Taps? Are we still dead? I mean, what's what happens when they alpha here? Yeah, alright, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> you what's your me. plan? Notably our thing can't block. So, what can we change against this deck? I, I think not that much. Yeah. Do we want Seasoned Pyro? I guess I don't want to cut the Dark Deaths combo, because it looks really good against them. I agree, and Snuff Out seems bad against them. Yeah. Um. Like, Retrofit or Foundry, in case the game, like, Omega stalls, we can cut, we kind of have a thing to do. I mean, I, I guess. I sort of think the game good. won't be about that. Yeah, I mean, it has been, but... I know it was that time, literally, but 
I think this is just the right config. Just okay. like stick to the the plan. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Fatal push out. That's pretty reasonable. I guess we saw nothing to fatal push. We just brought talisman in. I mean, I mean, if we're boarding out, the, well, I mean, at that point we could board in some sort of B threat. Let's see. Wait, how many red sources do we have right now? Quick, quick pull. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I mean, we could pretty easily board in Glorybringer if we brought in one red source. Although I'm a little worried that's just too small ball to ever matter. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just nice. In case things do go Omega Long. Strip mine? Not crazy, honestly. I mean, this is the matchup where like stuff like this starts to look kind of reasonable. Yeah, and hey, uh, Demon Lee, welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. Whoa, bring in Evolved Sleeper? God, as a, as a fast clock that doesn't require the reanimation. I think I like Strip Mine. Uh, man, you want to try the Evolved Sleeper? Let's do it. I don't know if this is right. It's not insane, but I'm willing to give it a chance. I like that it's a clock and if the game goes late, it does stop. All right, well, this hand almost does a lot of things. Okay. Do you want to mulligan it? No, I think I want to keep. Okay. I, I, I know it doesn't actually do anything, but... Oh, the SCG 2018 winner. Nice. Yeah. I do remember the SCG 2018 winner, Envy. Oh, man. That was the Envy, uh, that was the Envy where I was snowed in, and so, like, there was, like, a snowpocalypse. Wait, why are we keeping this hand? Well, basically, if we draw any reanimation spell or tutor, it's insane. Okay, I guess that's true. Right? Like, and we can't just grief them anyway if we want to. Yeah, okay. okay. Pitching some biz. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I I think it's worth keeping. Maybe it isn't. I guess we can do better. I kind of think we could do better on six. And maybe this matchup, we should mulligan really aggressively. Yeah. Uh, wait. And this is kind of... Actually, I think you're right. I think we should just ship it. Yeah. And hey, Nathematics, welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow! Mm, classic Dark Depths. Uh, might be in to keep this, though. I we can always vamp for this. a land. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think I'm in. Okay. And then do you want to tuck Dark Depths, or do you want to keep it because of the vamp? No, I want to tuck through the Breacher. Oh, sure. Because okay, yeah. we're really far from casting yeah. it. And then I just want to Inquisition them and, and, and see what happens. Yeah. I'm not sure... Yeah. Specifically, we can vamp for Famous Land at Thespian Stage. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Um, and I, th the question is, should we vamp for stage on one? Or should we just Inquisition? I think maybe we should Inquisition and vamp if we yeah, miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'd really like to take Black Lotus. Yeah. Is the thing, right? We know they have a really high leverage target for this Inquisition. Yeah. Ah, look. Black Lotus. Uh, yeah, let's take it. Yeah, I mean, Corvette Dance and V-Click wow. and Tournament are all Their fine. Their does nothing. It sure, it sure doesn't. And then I think, and then... I think we can take our draw because if we draw a, 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 a different land that we don't necessarily need to vamp. Yeah. Um, but if we brick, I'll obviously vamp for it. Okay, great. So now, I guess maybe I want to vamp for it anyway. Uh, no, because we still need to wait another turn to do it. So wait, I guess it doesn't slow us down in terms of the 2020 clock to, to disrupt them this turn. That's true, right? It doesn't. So we might as well... So we might as well disrupt them then. So I guess let's kite sail. Sure. Do you want to hide their hand real quick? Oh so yeah. To see, re -see it. I'm actually gonna need to hide it like twice more. Yeah. Um, because kite sail freebooter is, is a nice one. So now we see it. Oh, wait, why did this detach? I did not mean to do that. Go back in. Okay. Um, so let's dismiss this and then we'll re -see it. I believe. Uh, so. I mean, I want to take Shark Typhoon, I think. I, think I mean, so maybe we should too. take Corpse Dance because it has much higher upside. Like, if they have, like, I guess they have Jace in hand already. Well, Jace, we're going to collect a Brutality away, I assume. Wait, then how are they going to get a thing into the graveyard of Corpse Dance at all? I don't know. Maybe they have been too. Yeah, I mean, I know that they don't have blue. I, I, I understand that, but, like, I don't think that's that strong an argument in favor of Corpse Dance. I guess it is an argument in favor of Corpse Dance. You can't brutality. I want to kill Jace with brutality. Mine is kill. Use use brutality the other way. Yeah, I think you. I think you're incorrect about the claim that we can't brutality Jace. <laughs> I'm implying that if they put Jace into play, we'll use collective brutality to remove it from play. 
<laughs> and if it's stuck in their hand, it's okay. <laughs> I want to take Shark Typhoon because I don't want them to cycle it. Okay, that's fine. Is that sane? Yeah, I'm just imagining defeat. And to me, yeah. defeat looks like they draw in Tomb, Corpse Dance, Archon, and we're in No, I think you're right. Let's just take Corpse Dance. Okay. Like, God, I'm it's, not it's really close. afraid of them cycling. Mm-mm. Are we brutalizing Jace plus Corpse Dance? Well, they don't currently have blue. So I think at the moment our plan is to not cast Corpse Dance anytime soon. Yeah. Um, so now, I guess I should vamp for stage. Well, why? Because we're going to play Dark Depths. We, we need to well, play... Well, because I need two mana up the turn that we go for it. So if I vamp later, I won't... Oh, uh, that's true. You could see our draw step. There's no reason to do it in the upkeep. Oh, you just want to... Sure. We can yeah. see our draw step. Sure. Ah. I'm not sure that actually changes anything. I'm not sure it does either. But anyway, let's play depths. Now we don't have to make any decisions now, though. Yep. Because these are all instants. So, because like now we could, for example, put in Atraxa. I I'm not casting Brutality. We know we know their hand. Yeah. Uh, it it's just that like. I mean, they have one other card, but yeah. Okay, we roughly know their hand. Yeah. So they, I mean, they have Jay's V Click Shark and two unknowns at this point. So. Like, we basically have the choice of making a 2020 or making any creature from our library of our choice. Yeah. But I think none of the creatures in our library are better than a 2020. I, I like making a 2020. I guess if they, like, draw an island for Shark Typhoon, they can buy a turn against the 2020 or something. Hmm. Is that, is that, is that problematic that they could trump block if they draw an island? It's not that problematic. I, th I think maybe Archon is better. Okay, let's do Archon. Okay, so we're doing Archon. The important thing, as, as chat in a tro trolling <laughs> manner points out, yeah. is uh, you have to Entomb first. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a real disaster if you don't. Yeah. Um, Archon might help them with reanimate. Well, they won't have a chance to cast any sorcery speed reanimation spell, so it, it won't help them. Um, but famously... Mm -mm. I think they mean they'll discard it because Archon makes them discard a card. Oh, sure. Uh, I guess that's true. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. So let's get Archon of Cruelty. Let's vamp. <laughs> Don, that's a common problem. I've had that with my dogs before, actually. But anyway, yeah, let's find Animate Dead. Yep. All right. Any Archons? Uh-oh. Well, we didn't play around that with this line. Yeah. I mean, they could have just forced the vamp, so... But I guess they... Hmm. Well, we did get owned. I'm not sure if we punted or not. The thing is, like... I think the risk that they, like, play an island, cycle shark to come with Trump blocker, and then are able to cobble together... Oh, they couldn't have forced the vamp because it was on their turn. No, it's force of will. It's not that was oh, force of negation. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you're, you're right that had it been force of negation, that yeah, would be the case. Yeah, yeah. But it's force of will. They could have forced it. Yeah. They were like trying to get more Val by wasting our draw step yeah, before they force it, okay, okay. which is sane. But we actually would have, yeah, beaten that. I, I don't know. I, I don't know that playing on a force that we hadn't seen is really what we're supposed to do. But we might lose the game as a direct result. Um, okay, so now we know none of their cards. Pretty into pitch that to kill yep. us in Thoughtseize. Yep. Oh, no, not that mode. I want the top modes. And hey, BLJ94, thanks for the resubscription. Welcome back to the stream. Our nice candle of the day is the Sapphire September candle because it is our first stream in the month of September. And that is very scary. Yeah, we, there is a chance now that they will... God, they're going to scare VZ our Archon? Yep. Uh, okay, what we need to do now is peel either Depths or a Reanimation Spell. And also maybe not Depths, maybe just Reanimation Spell. Yeah. Uh, any Shallow Graves? Any Shallow Graves in the chat? Yeah! Cold shot! Look at that! Okay, well, let's Shallow Grave Archon. Yeah. I mean... The funny part is we're not totally out of the woods, but... Well, they are going to sack their scare. Oh, right. It's Scarabod. I mean, what's good is that the Archon won't be in our graveyard anymore. Hilariously. So, 
even if they replay Scare God, like turn turn N minus two for now or whatever. Yeah. We like they still won't be able to make an Archon. <laughs> oh right, it's Scare God. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. when does it go to their hand, though? Will they have to discard it off the second Archon? No, it goes to it their goes hand. It goes at the end of turn. Wow. Really owning Archon of Cruelty. <laughs> yeah, I even thought about, like, we could have, like, EOT brought back our Archon, but I think it's never right. Yeah. Like, getting the attack trigger is too good. Yeah. Um. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's fine. We got Evolve Sleeper. <laughs> Well, okay, what, what, what actually is good for us here is... Clam Weaver. Our opponent's at three. Three, yes. So if they replay Scare of God, we can untap, play Evolve Sleeper and Lingering Souls, and I think we might kill them. <laughs> I forgot about the Lingering Souls. I mean, I think we might win. I guess I'm glad it's not Fatal Push. Although Fatal Push would be good against a Scare of Geezy token, huh? Yeah. I, I'm fine with how it worked out. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just a classic Freebooter W. I think we can all agree that of our kind of cruelty and Freebooter, Freebooter did the most work this game. Yeah. I mean, where's Archon? It's gone. Oh, Scare from the Sod, the CMC? Oh, wait. I, you're right, actually. That's true, right? Oh, that's... Yeah. It, yeah. it copies... It's a copyable value, and the Scare God does not overwrite it. Yeah. Um. I mean, I guess if... But if they... The only thing they can take is JVP, which yes. does get fatal. A classic 4-4 four, four JVP. <laughs> you love to see those 4-4 four, four JVPs. It could then flash back through the breach or some shit. Uh, but... Well, I don't think it can because I think it exiles and then comes back. You know? Oh, wait. You're right. That's really funny. Um, all right. Lingering Souls. This. I mean, <laughs> obviously a lot could go wrong, but if... They draw a land or something, we win. But they have no cards in hand. Yes. Well we, nice. well, we are con them and they force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand that we threw away a lot of cards to put Ridiculous Creation to play, but yeah. they threw away a lot of cards to stop us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the card we need our opponent not to draw here is actually Thoughtseize. True. <laughs> <laughs> wait, they can't Thoughtseize. Oh, no, wait. They're two. They're at two. Wait. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Maybe the running thought sees is fine. Also, what I didn't realize about the Archon thing was they have Bitter Reunion. It would have been even scarier because they would have made an Archon and then Bitter Reunion and attacked with it. Yes, it would have been disgusting. And uh, hey, the guy 420 welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. Yeah, Smithor, I'm not sure you should include Freebooter in your cube because of this, but... As we said earlier in the stream, the, the black creatures do, like, there aren't that many good includable ones. Yes, the, the black creatures is, like, one of the hardest slots in the cube to fill. Like, it goes kind of bad really, really, really fast. Yeah. Uh, I happen to think Freebooter, like, narrowly scrapes in, but, you know, it's it's not a, it's not a slam dunk. Um, I, I like Freebooter slightly more than the two mana one ones that take any card, just because the one two flying body actually does do something on yeah. occasion. Like, like, sometimes you get In this game. woo Trophy! Wow. Let's go! That was an insane... <laughs> thing we just won. I kind of thought we could never win in a million years. Yeah. But... Well, actually, at one point, I thought we could never lose in a million years. And then I thought we could never win in a million years. 